Hello and welcome to a Botania tutorial. I am Logic Engineer and we're going to be looking at the Spectralis. Now you can see it behind me gobbling up that dyed wool. This flower eats all the colors of dyed wool in a specific order and produces a butt ton of mana. I'm not kidding, this thing kicks out, uh, just the single flower kicks out uh, one mana pool full every seven minutes if you can supply it with the wool. Now, it's not the best mana generation design, but it's a little bit more elegant than automating coal getting dumped on end of flames. So, we are going to go ahead and look at how to build this thing. Real quickly, these are the items that you'll be needing for this construction. That's not including the glass or the living uh, rock brick, living stone brick. These can actually be any kind of solid blocks, and these are purely for visual. So instead of building this all by hand, I'm just going to show you layer by layer and give you some different angles to look at and pause the video. Here we have layer 1 and 2, just the spectralist and some glass. Layer 3, more glass, some structural blocks. Layer 4, we get to start placing some redstone, more glass, a couple more structural blocks. These repeaters go 1 tick, 2 tick, 3 tick, and then 4 tick in these corners here. Next layer, more blocks around the outside, redstone torches in the middle. Next layer, more structural blocks and a water. and some signs on the inside if you didn't see those earlier and a block with a torch on it and redstone around the outside with two more repeaters here we have the open crates with the droppers facing into them comparators coming out of the droppers into a solid block with a redstone torch on the outside it's the same all the way around as well as a single piece of redstone on top of this block here that has the torch on it Next up we have the hoppers sitting on top of the droppers with item frames on them and the assorted colors of wool here. Now this order can be seen in the vanilla creative tab for wool, otherwise you can just pull it off this video here. The flower will also display whichever color it wants next uh, if you hover over it with a wand of the forest here. So on top of the hoppers, we have the floating hopper hocks, which will actually stick the items into the hoppers. I went ahead and placed some wool around the outside here. This represents the area that your colored wool will need to be dropped in, in order for all the flowers to reach it. So anywhere up here, uh, you can do all sorts of stuff, open crate it uh, into one of these blocks, and you should be fine. Now, I did a couple more things. I went ahead and placed a, another solid block on the inside here above this space with a sticky piston on top of it facing down. That's the actual shutoff control piston. While it's up, the machine is off and this is pulsing into nothing. Uh, this hovering hourglass has two pieces of regular sand in it to give us a two second delay, which I believe is probably the fastest you're going to be able to run this machine. And if all of the wool is in, which we can see by all these torches being off along the outside, we can flip the lever, piston will come down, and start sending pulses and turn the machine on. Now, you may notice here it's actually missing, uh, it's missing some items. When it comes around, if it comes around and doesn't give you any particles there, the flower is consuming that wool but not producing any mana from it. So if we hover over it and find out which one it's getting hung up on, and it looks like it's the purple wool. You can see it getting stuck right there. We can go look and see that the purple wool is this one here, this slice here. If we give it one more tick, uh, now these two are actually the same, but that should be fine. Uh, the flower is now happy and is getting all of the wool in the proper order and you should be good to go. Now you may not have that timing issue. Uh, I did build a, another version of this 
uh, pretty much identical to this on a multiplayer server and I had no timing issues. So that may not be an issue for you, but if it is, uh, just figure out which one is getting hung up on and give it another tick and you should be all right. Now, we just turned this thing on and this thing already has a lot of mana in it. Uh, this machine with just this single flower will fill up a mana pool in seven minutes. So keep that in mind. Also keep in mind that this consumes a very, very large amount of wool. So if you can feed it, it will definitely eat it. And as soon as it runs out, which we will make it do here, we'll take most of this out. Actually, we'll take all of it out. And there you go. Uh, this torch comes on, activates the shutoff circuit, and the machine shuts off until it gets more wool. Then it will actually come back on and turn itself back on. So you should have no problem leaving the machine always on and even if it runs out of wool it will just sit and wait until you feed it some more and then continue processing. So that is the machine I've got. A uh, huge shout out to my friend and fellow Minecrafter Rewest. Uh, he helped me come up with this. Uh, I don't know whose idea it was initially, but uh, I decided to make a video on it. So, again, huge shout out to him. And hope you guys have a nice day. Uh, questions and comments in the comment section.